He's been called the golden child of Nigerian business. And Dangote certainly stands apart from the crowd. Here in Nigeria, when it comes to the manufacturing and trading of commodities, Dangote is a titan. He's one of the richest men on the continent. Whether it's flour, sugar, pasta or clothing, the Dangote group is a dominant player. But it's in cement that he is king. We're heading to his cement factory in Obajina and making the journey on one of his two private planes. When was the last time you traveled commercial? No, sometimes I travel commercial. I can't remember, but I think sometimes. <laughs> the 2010 Forbes list of the world's richest puts the 53-year-old Dangote's wealth at around $2.5 billion. While flying high in the world of business, the soft-spoken Dangote keeps a low profile. Our day-long access to him is a rare occurrence, as this is a man who likes to keep his contact with the media to a minimum. 30 minutes out of Lagos, the three-and-a-half-year-old factory comes into view. It dominates the surrounding landscape. On the ground, the scale of the operation is impressive. With a capacity of just over 5 million metric tons, Dangote tells me this is one of the largest cement factories in the world. The factory operates 24 hours a day. Fully automated at the outset, every stage of production is controlled by cutting-edge technology. And right now, plans are underway to double capacity. But Dangote says he's equally committed to improving the conditions of those living close to his factory as part of his philosophy of corporate social responsibility. There are scores of homes under construction for residents in the local community. An aerial view provides a better sense of the Obajina empire that Dangate built. Before you started this production plant, what was here? What was in this area? Actually, there was nothing here. It was uh, just vegetation, you know, nothing. Nothing? That's nothing, yes. So the people that were living here, what facilities did they have? They had nothing. They had no water, no power, no roads, nothing. You know, so we, whatever you see here, we made it. Despite the success of Obajina, Dangote's quest for success is far from sated. In Iveshe, close to Lagos, another major cement factory is under construction. Development is in full swing with workers from Nigeria, China and India. I ask him how all of this makes him feel. But you personally, as a legal Dangote, how does it make you feel? Well, I'm as feeling a, as a uh, great. Um, Feeling fulfilled that you know at least uh, you know you are doing something uh, great to your country. At home, he describes working 12-hour days that begin at 5 a.m. No matter what time he goes to bed, he says his motivation for his work comes down to a simple desire to give people jobs, as well as to create an African success story. While admitting corruption remains a problem in Nigeria, his faith in his country appears unshakable. But Nigeria is the best place to invest. It's one of the best places to make money, you know, uh, all over the uh, world. It's, a, it's the best kept secret, actually, in terms of investment. When he's not working, Dangote describes a relatively simple lifestyle. I like exercising a lot. I go to the gym almost every day, and uh, I do about uh, 15 kilometers at least six times a week. So you're a runner? Yeah, I'm a runner, yes. Maybe if you want to take a bit, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Aliko Dangate, a man clearly competitive at both work and play, and he shows no sign of slowing down anytime soon. Aisha Sasei, CNN, Lagos.